Hi guys, so here's your program video for week six. We are finishing week five, it's Halloween week. So going into uh, the events first, we've got November the 9th is a high rock simulation, same as before, rock up at 11, and we're gonna go in waves, so 11 till two. I've set up a separate video for that, so we should explain more. If not, DM me, book on what board. On the 16th of November is the Hex Games from nine till 12, both classes combined. Uh, again, I've set out an explanation video for that one, so any questions at DM me or look back on the WhatsApp videos or the emails. Small group PT, guys. So Monday, back squats, it was nine reps, then eight and seven and six over four sets, that is seven RPE. You're now going to increase that to eight RPE, so you're going to go for eight reps, then seven, then six and five, decreasing the rep per set, but the RPE is going to go up to eight, so a little bit more weight, so maybe add. 1.25 or 2.5 to each side. Ask the coach for um, any tips or advice. The conditioning for this is eight minutes, so quite a big, long length for you guys. It's gonna be 40, 20. To really learn how to pace it on each minute. I don't want you to gas out too early. On those Tuesdays, we've got Hatfield lunges again. So it's three times eight at 6.5 to seven RPE. Now it's pushing slightly up to seven to 7.5 RPE. So again, try adding a 1.25 2.5 max to the end of those weights if you feel you can. If not, really just homing on that technique, the breathing, uh, bracing that core, and really getting the most out of that tempo. Leg accessories, again, for this day, we've got some Copenhagen planks and some plate leg abductions. Really good for accessorizing and helping to build up those bigger lifts like the squats and the lunges across the well with those. It's Wednesdays, cage genders. We've got nine, seven, five, five on the first set. We've got the eccentric focus on some of the reps. The kilograms are going up every set. It's so it's harder than last week. It was RPE 6 to 6.5 uh, to 7. Now it's 7 to 7.5. At the end, we've got 60 second challenges in the workout. If you did recorded your weights or recorded your reps and sets from last week, we'll try and push it this week to so add a bit more within that 60 seconds. Thursday, guys, same kind of principles going from 9, 7, 5, 5 from a 6.5 to 7.0 RPE, now up to a 7 to 7.5, so adding a bit of weight on those presses. All else stays the same, and then on that Friday, we were doing um, RDLs, we're now doing dumbbell alternate cleans, so it's power cleans, and then kettlebell sumo RDLs, okay? So they were a little superset at the top, rather than the RDLs barbell, we're switching to two superset exercises. We're still doing that alternate dumbbell shoulder press, working on that stability tempo, trying to balance out those, those sides and those muscles. Saturday, we've got your pause into regular bench. So three by two and six at seven point RPE. So coming down, pausing, rather than just tap and go. And then bent over rows and double dip lunges, second week of these, so double dip lunges. Uh, we don't necessarily need to add weight onto that, just really perfect that tempo and that control, especially at the bottom, don't crash your knee, driving back up quickly. And then finally on that Sunday, we've got your land, mine, two-handed press. Last week was three times eight. We're gonna go up a little bit heavier this time, so add a bit more weight to the end. Really maximize that shoulder strength. And then it's a bit more fun at the end, we're gonna go back to that sled, so it should be getting easier. So add a bit more weight to try and push it a bit harder. But that is next week's program, guys. Any questions, DM me, good luck.